Hello, my good friends. Good morning. How are you all? I am fine, thank you, and you? Welcome back from the weekend. I hope you enjoyed your weekend very well. All right. So deep and wide, deep and wide, there's a fountain flowing deep and wide. Deep and wide, deep and wide, there's a fountain flowing deep and wide. Give yourself a champagne clap. Champagne. Champagne. Po. All right, children. Today is Monday, and we have creative arts. All right? And I said in creative art, we try to express our ideas, our feelings, with uh, postal colors, colored pencils, crayons, the paintbrush, pieces of papers, sand, seeds, pieces of cloth, and so many things in our environment. We can use it for creative arts. All right, so children, the last time we did a house. We created a house with the basic shapes. So we created a roof with a triangle, the rectangle with a door, the squares for the windows, and the square for the body. We created the clouds, the sun, the green grass. Okay, please. I hope you were able to do it. Yes, please. But today, we are going to paint the national flag. Okay? We are going to paint the colors of our national flag. And we know the colors of our national flag are red, yellow, and green. And then we have the star. The black star, the black star at the center of the flag. So that is what we are going to do today. Okay, please. We are getting closer to the election year. And because we want to be a good citizen, we want to paint the colors of the national flag. So we, today we are going to create the national flag. Okay, please. Before you can do that, you need a white sheet of paper. A play sheet of paper, there should be nothing on it. So you can pick your creative art book and open to the next page. Yeah, that's where we are going to work. Okay, and then you need your crayons. Mm -hmm. The crayon, we only need the black crayon. And then we also need our washable paint. So this is my red paint, my yellow, and my green. And these are my paint brush. Okay, please. Well done. Give yourself the lap lap. So today we are also going to use some of the shapes. Okay? Uh, we are going to use the rectangle. So we are going to draw three rectangles. How many rectangles? Three rectangles. Okay? And then we are going to improvise or use the triangle to develop or to create the star. So you need your pencil or your marker to do the work. This is my marker. You can also use your pencil if you don't have the marker. All right, for us to see it very clear, I am going to use my black marker. I'm going to use what? My black marker. And I said we are going to draw three rectangles. How many rectangles? Three rectangles. So let's pay attention now. So I'm going to start with my first rectangle. That is across, down, and another across. Very long one. And I join it to here. I deepen it for us to see. Yes. I draw another one down across and I join it here. Another one down across 
and another one here to join it. Wow, so I have what? One, two, three. How many rectangles? Three rectangles. One, two, three. Okay, please. And then I draw the long one down here, which represents the stand of the national flag. I join it over here. Okay, please. Well, right, so you should be able to have something like this, my good friends. Okay, now we want to create the black star. The black star. The black star. How do we do that? We are going to draw two triangles, one facing up and one facing down. Okay, please. So now what we're going to do is pay attention and look at me. One triangle here, a slash, and I join. And then from here, here, and here, and here. So I have my star over here. Have you seen children? Very beautiful and very simple. At your level, you can use two triangles, one facing up, one facing down, to create your black star. All right. Now we are going to paint the colors of the national flag. And I told you they are red, yellow, and green. And then we have the black star at the middle or at the center of the flag. Okay? And that can be seen in the middle color, that is the yellow. So, for me not to destroy my painting, I am going to color the black star first. I'm going to paint it first. So, that's it. Take your time. And create my star. Yes. Creating the star. Can you see it? Okay. So I have a black star over there. Have you seen it? Yes. And I'm going to paint the stand here black. Black. Okay. Now let's begin our painting. The first color is red. And red represents the blood that was shared by our forefathers for us to gain our independence. It also represents all the sacrifices that they did. So I'm starting. So I do the red paint and I paint this place red. You can use your poster colors. If you have a poster color, you can use your crayon to do that. Okay. That's it. So I paint all this place yellow. Okay. And then yellow. So this is red and yellow. Make sure you don't paint the black star. So you take your time gently and you do it. Yellow. Paint it yellow. You took your time. So that you don't paint the black star. Okay, please. 
Nadal. You know that that color is green. And the yellow represents the mineral wells. Okay, please. The minerals. Our gold, our diamond, the oxides. And then the green represents our forestry, our vegetations. Okay, please. Our plantations and our plants and the green grass. Okay, so all this place green. Add more green. Let it green. Yes. Wow. So these are the colors of our national flag. Okay, I hope you can do it. Yes, so pick your creative art book, open to a fresh page, and then draw three rectangles. Join them together, and then you draw two triangles, one facing up, one facing down, and you can create your black star at the center of the flag. And it should be in the yellow rectangle. Okay, please. Yes. And then you draw your star. And you color the first piece. That's the first rectangle, red. And I said red represents the blood that was shared by our forefathers. Dr. Kwame Kuma, Ubeche Milante, Yasan Tua, and all those people. They really sacrificed for our nation, Ghana. And then the yellow represents our mineral world, our minerals. The bauxite, the gold, the diamond, okay, represent those things, okay. And then the green represents our vegetation, our forestry, okay. Please, it means we should be able to keep our forestry very safe. We should stop cutting down trees, okay, but rather encourage the growing of trees so that we can have more life to live and more air to breathe, so that the atmosphere will also be very clear to. Um, discourage toxin and other harmful materials in the air for us to breathe in. And then the black star represents the hope of Africa. The hope of Africa. Our hope. I hope you understand. So children, okay, I'm going to leave you here for you to take your washable paint, your crayon, your pencil, your marker, and your paintbrush to create your own national flag. When you are done, post it on the page and I'll have a look at your beautiful work. God bless you, stay safe, and I'll meet you again in our next meeting. Give yourself a loud clap. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. This is what we did today. The colors of the national flag. Bye-bye. See you again. Bye-bye.